What's going on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to share with you a common mistake that new tomato gardeners often make without even knowing it that can destroy your tomato harvest. There are two main types of tomato plants, indeterminate tomato plants and determinate tomato plants. And while they are both tomatoes and the fruit is indistinguishable from each other, they behave very differently. Whether a tomato plant is a determinate or indeterminate variety will be clearly labeled on each individual seed packet or it will be placed clearly in the listing if you like to order your seeds online or inside a catalog. The overwhelming majority of tomato varieties are indeterminate tomatoes, so when you watch pruning tutorials online for how to best prune your tomato plants, you are probably watching videos on how to prune indeterminate tomato plants, and that can cause a major problem. Indeterminate tomato plants are a vine that will grow to an indeterminate length, meaning it will continue to grow in perpetuity until it is killed off either by pests, disease, or weather most commonly frost and freeze. Indeterminate tomato vines can grow like crazy. They can produce suckers in between the leaf and the stem at the node, and then those suckers will grow into new main stems that will take over an area. So for that reason, when you look online for tomato pruning tutorials, they usually tell you to remove most of the suckers on the tomato plant itself to control the growth and try to keep it to one or two main stems. Single stemming has become very common because it is a great way to manage the the growth of your tomato plants, maximize airflow, and keep them compact to a small space. And that's exactly what you see right here. I'm growing this big beef indeterminate tomato as a single stem vine that I am then trellising up this piece of twine. The problem is this method of pruning only works for indeterminate tomato varieties. If you do this to determinate varieties, you will absolutely destroy your harvest. So if you're not specifically paying attention to the seed packets or to the varieties of the transplants that you're growing, and you're growing both indeterminate and determinate varieties and pruning them all the same, you will have a very bad harvest, and here is why. Determinate tomato plants are not vines. They grow as a bush. They grow to a predetermined height, hence the name determinate. Depending on the variety you'll grow, they are anywhere from two to four feet tall at maturity. So it's very important that you treat them very differently because they grow in an entirely different way. Determinate tomatoes need to sucker as much as possible because they have a very stocky short stem, and it's all of those suckers that grow off at 45 degree angles at the nodes that produce all of the flowers that then become your fruit. So if you prune them like an indeterminate and you remove those suckers, you will not get flowers and you will not get fruit. In fact, determinate tomatoes basically shouldn't be pruned at all. The only acceptable growth that you can remove from determinate tomatoes are leaves below the first flower cluster. Once you see a flower cluster, you should not remove any of the leaves. So for this determinate tomato variety right here, it's okay to remove the bottom leaf nodes that are nowhere near a flower cluster because they can drag on the ground and they can promote disease. But other than that little bit of pruning that I just gave this tomato plant right now, there's really nothing else that you should do to it. The only other time it's acceptable to remove foliage from a determinate tomato plant is if the plant is suffering from disease and has some diseased leaves that you can remove. However, that is usually not a problem because determinate tomato plants have a predetermined lifespan and once they start ripening their fruits, they start to naturally die back and die. So for that reason, generally speaking, the disease does not kill off the tomato plant before it dies off on its own naturally. So determinate varieties are perfect for garden with high disease pressure for that reason. The same thing I found holds true if you're growing tomato varieties from the Dwarf Tomato Project like I am. While some may be listed as semi-determinate or even in some instances indeterminate, because they grow to a predetermined height and generally can't get above three feet tall, I recommend you treat them just like a determinate variety and you don't prune them except for removing the lowest leaves underneath the first flower cluster. So if you're new to growing tomatoes, make sure you keep these things in mind. If you're growing a blend of indeterminate, determinate, and dwarf tomatoes, and you're unaware and you treat them all the same, you can run into major problems that will negatively affect your harvest. And that's today's Two Minute Garden Tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications. And check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.